How do you guys feel about um, UK artists on like American songs or like with American artists? Because sometimes to me, like sonically, it 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 doesn't sound all the way correct. But then you know, I feel like I feel like some of the time, right? Yeah, the UK artist kind of like outdoes the American one, and this is not yeah, all of the lyrically, time. Lyrically, lyrically, right? Yeah, yeah. lyrically, right. Or just technically, to mm. be fair. But this is not all of the time. But often I see, like, Millions has had a couple link mm. ups with, like, American men. I yeah. can't name them off the top of my head. But, like, technically, Millions has been the better rapper on those. Mm. And so it kind of leads to something that's a bit disappointing, isn't it? Mm. Because you want, like, a cold American link up, like, Millions to get, like, a I nod from somebody, say... like, higher up on the food chain kind of thing. Right, but some of them don't really get that. You get like gigs on Drake's thing mm. and Dave on Drake's thing, like a yeah. couple of Classic. those like that. Yeah. And those are cold, but I definitely but feel I think, like I think there's not many US artists that can keep up with UK artists when on a song table. I'll say Drake is one that obviously because he culture blends very well. Mm. I think he's one that I can say okay. You know, you you held your own with a yeah. UK artist. And you think he's so? Done, he's, he, he, huh? You think so? I think he has. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's done that with Heavy I mean, One. Uh, yeah. Heavy One, yeah. He yeah. Held yeah, that's fair enough. Song. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think exactly what you're saying. I just find that the UK, the UK artists just always outdo the American artists. I don't think it's a... But that's also to do with like how they they are partnered up. Yeah, it depends on, like, the parents and stuff like that. On who it is. Like, I will say, like, that Bia and J. Cole track. I was just about to get into that. Bia was sliding on that. Like, her flow, I loved her flow. But... J. Cole? That verse from J. Cole. J. Cole! The way man was using the the, the British accent and British slang. Yeah. Yo. Yeah. Blew my mind, bro, man. Yeah. He's got unknown tea in the background as well. Yeah, he's tea bopping in the place. I loved it. I loved every Mm. second of it. Yeah, I don't, I think, but I also think that has a lot to do with the fact that UK rap is so, not up and coming in that sense, but there's something fresh about it. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? And maybe, maybe our American counterparts actually beg to differ. You know what? I want to, I want to take back that statement I said about B and J. Cole, because B is not even British, bro. Is she not? She's I don't know. I, I, is she American? Yeah. I was about to say, like, <laughs> I think, cool. I she says she, go, no, she likes to go to because, the mall. Yeah, no, it's because they filmed it in London. Like, I got confused. But yeah. no, nah, yeah. she's uh, apparently from Boston. Um, I've actually listened to some of her old stuff and she didn't yeah, know a British accent, no nothing. Like, mm. American accent, for sure. But Does she have a British accent in that one? Nah, I don't know what accent. Like, I don't know if that's what people <laughs> don't from know Boston what that sound is. like. If anybody knows, comment. But... <laughs> Yeah, it was. Yeah, that would be great. It was different, and it. Um, but yeah, so I guess we can't use that as an example. No, maybe maybe not be a J Cole, but um, I can definitely say though the I think it's definitely the money bag yo, um, um, diggity diggity. Yeah, I just yeah. generally though I just find that our American counterparts. They might disagree. They might feel like their American mm. artists are much better and they come in and they do a madness and then yeah. we that's, were... Funny enough, that's the actual song that made me like really start thinking like, something about this doesn't mesh with, well. With the, mm. with the money bag. <laughs> the money bag, yo, what? It just doesn't. Like, you've got Digga D really like snapping and you've got money bag, But yo. Digga gives it his yeah. all. He's always been like yeah. that, though. Like, I was watching a bunch of his ciphers and his freestyles. I mean, I, I always have, but like watching them. Digger carried that song. Oh, you are so invested in everything he does. Mm. He gives yeah. it. He reminds me of like when I first when I first heard Stormzy. I remember listening to Stormzy for the first time, yeah, mm. and just being so mesmerized by mm. how much energy he was giving it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because Stormzy is like, I'm here, and mm. we're gonna we're mm. gonna do it. So. I think Digger has the same sort of energy. He gives it his all. Even sometimes when he's flowing really calmly mm. and he's just sort of doing his, you know. Um, I think it's called Attention. I think that might be my favourite track on there. And I think he bodied 
the fuck out of that song so much, yeah. I'm just, I, I've had to listen to it like a few times. Um, attention, yeah, attention. Mm. That's hard. I really, really like it. Um, and yeah, he just sort of gives it that, you know, this smooth. Um, bro, I thought you were my nigga, but clearly you're just doing this for attention. And <laughs> so it's just, ah, oh, it's up. Uh, that whole album, Diggers a oh, Star, man. Mm. I'm a fan. Um, Do you know what? One collab that I would... If I, if I died I'll, and I've seen this collab... It's massive if he dies. I, I would have... I would have... I would have... I'd be a happy man. Mm. 